are we having another deep seek moment i quest coder is here and this is such a deja vu another chinese quantitative trading company stepping into the llm space following the pattern we saw with deep seek what makes this i quest coder very very interesting is its code flow training paradigm and let me quickly show you an example this is the simulation of bolt which i have created from a simple text prompt this is simply running in the browser and everything is quite customizable and controllable the bolt's algorithm simulates realistic flocking behavior and if i change the max speed if i just scroll on the screen just look at how the birds are flying together or fish schooling is happening there are only three rules which this is following separation to avoid collision and you can see that i am clicking also look at the max speed i can also adjust the alignment and then this is all running on a quant version of this quest i'm not even using the full version model which is a 40 billion parameter model i'm running it through olama and i will be showing you all about it as how to install it locally let me also quickly show you the vram consumption as the model is running so this is where i just created this code and it took around 34.17 tokens per second if i show you the vram consumption it is not running at the moment so i'm just going to kick it off again maybe i will just kick it in this window and it is just going to generate that void algorithm while it loads the model let me show you the vram consumption in real time so it is generating the code there you go so just over 42 gig of vram for that q8 quant uh, which i am just using from this report i will drop the link to it in videos description so what exactly is this model so this model as i said earlier it uses few new techniques so it uses code flow training paradigm so what that means is that instead of learning from static code snapshot it trains on repository evaluation patterns commit transitions and how code actually changes over time in real development and that is a big big deal the model family ranges from 7 billion to 40 billion parameter with a unique loop variant that uses a recurrent transformer architecture where blocks are executed in two iterations with shared parameter and this loop design aims to get better performance from smaller model sizes by reu reusing layers intelligently the training pipeline as you can see on your screen is sophisticated it starts with pre training on general and code data then does a specialized mid training phase with 32k reasoning trajectories and agentic tasks extended context length up to 128k token and then finally splits it into post training paths there is also a thinking variant using reasoning driven reinforcement learning and an instruct variant optimized for general coding assistant on hugging face at the moment only instruct variant is available there are few more things around benchmarking and i have few concerns too but we will talk about that controversial stuff later down the road by the way this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot please also follow me on x if you are looking for ai updates without any hype so as i said i am using olama for this and how to install olama and then how to run this ggf file i am using q8 if you have even lesser vram under 48 gb go with q4 and how to run it and install it just go to my channel search with olama ggf and just watch any of these videos from the top to and you should be able to do what i have done in terms of installation i downloaded the model in my local directory so let me quickly show you uh, this is my model directory and this is a 42 gig of size so download it and then follow these videos to get it installed okay so everything is good and this is my ubuntu system i have one gpu card nvidia rt nvidia h100 with 80 gb of vram which is sufficient for this model i could use 48 gb too 
Now, if you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Okay, so uh, let's try out another prompt. I'm just going to go here. This is where I'm simply, you know, sorry, this is the one where I'm using the prompt. Let's try out on another task. In the next test, I'm going to ask it to create me a complete playable Minesweeper clone in pure C, no external libraries. And then there are various mechanics, features, UI stuff, input system, code quality, and also an example how I wanted to do it. So let's go back and then run it from my local system. I'm just going to run this Python 3 app.py. Okay, so because I haven't changed uh, the overall you know the print statement that is why it is printing it but there you go there you go so you see it is implementing that provided c code and it is writing the c also if i look at the way it is generating the code it actually works like a charm i mean the way it writes the code it shows the code flow has been trained on what i said earlier anyway so while it prints that let's talk around few of the concerns which i have um around this benchmarking or benchmaxing should we say uh, i'm not sure so maybe you know uh, the benchmark looks too good to be true look at the sui bench look at the terminal bench uh, all these published results show that the 40 billion model achieving 81.4 percent on sui bench verified which essentially matching cloud opus 4.5 which is estimated to be 15 to 20 times larger. And that's a remarkable claim that raises questions about whether the model was specifically tuned to Excel on these particular benchmarks. Um, you know, they have released a report and a blog so you can check it out. The code quality we just saw, it is extremely, extremely good. That is why I'm just asking, what do you think? Is it yet another deep seek moment where these 40 billion models are beating like 400, 600 billion models like Opus 4.5 and they are open sourced. And, you know, I have been testing it and I can tell you that it is performing exceptionally well on these benchmarks, but there are few areas where it struggles. Um, so I'm not sure if there is any benchmark overfitting or not, because look, um, I have no idea and I have no way of verifying it as per the benchmark at the moment. But other than that, I think uh, all these multi-file complex projects, it can handle <clears throat> quite nicely. And uh, it also handles ambiguous requirements quite nicely, like we saw in that BIRD simulation. But now let's check it out, what it is going to do in this one. So it has created it. Um, okay, so it has saved the file here. I should have changed that, but anyway. So this is a code which it has generated. Let's go back and let's first compile it with GCC. And that compilation is done. First step is good. And now let's start the game. I'm just going to run it like this. There you go. So game also runs. First up, let's reveal um, the cells at row three, column five. And I'm just going to type it here. There you go. So this is a row three, column five. This is correct. Let's flag uh, or unflag the cell at row two, column four, F two, four. I'm just randomly doing it. There you go. This has been flagged. Um, also, if I just do dot what it says, I'm just asking it, nothing else. So you can flag it, you can do this, you can press Q and all the control works. So you see, it has done wonderfully well. I'm very impressed by the way. Okay, finally, I am going to ask it to create me a UI with a self-contained HTML file for cyber security operations with some charts, some matrices, and should be interactive. And there are a few other things around visual design and some additional features like date and time and stuff. So let's go back and let me clear the screen and then run this to create the code. And this is where it has generated some cyber security operation center. And I'm just scrolling through it. It is quite interactive, very nice. Some critical alerts, this could be fixed. This is a bit off, but anyway, other than that, I think it has done well. Uh, created a well-designed one. 
one thing it has missed is it didn't create the chart which i asked it to do but maybe because we have no data but anyway look quite impressive no doubt about that let me know what do you think about this please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member please also follow me on x as i will be discussing this model over there too thank you for all the support